Okay, so so let's just talk about the origins of Norteños and Nuestra Familia. So so from what I read, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, members of the Norteños are considered to be foot soldiers of the Nuestra Familia, but being a member of Nuestra Familia does not actually actually mean that you're a Norteño. Is that right? Uh, well, when when the NF when it first originated, it wasn't about. There were, it wasn't like there was, you know, it wasn't geographical, wasn't whether you're from Northern or Southern California. It, it was what, your belief, what, you, what you believed in. There were two organizations at that time. There was the Mexican Mafia, there was the Nuestra Familia. So both of these organizations, they had a different philosophy. So it just depended on what you believed in. As time went on, geography became a part of it. That's when they, that, that, Bakersfield became that dividing line where anything south of Bakersfield to the, you know, to, to Mexico, to the border was considered Mexican mafia, their, their recruiting grounds. Anything from Bakersfield northern towards Oregon was considered NF recruiting grounds. So that's when it, it started to just be exclusively Norteños and exclusively Sureños. Well, right. The... Nuestra Familia started out in Soledad in 1960. Right. And um, originally they were affiliated with the Mexican Mafia, La M.A., but then there was a split that happened. And um, there was a situation in 1965 uh, over a pair of shoes. Right. right. I think it's referred to as the War of the Shoes or the War of the Slippers, something it's, like that. It's referred to in prison uh, lore as, as the shoe war. You know, that's the other right. thing, though. A lot of people seem to think that these two organizations were involved at, at one time. Like the NF was a part of the Mexican mafia and they split. That's not how it happened. These guys that formed the NF, these these guys were, they were the non-affiliated guys. And they they started to get abused by the Mexican mafia. And that's when they started to, they started to, uh, you know, they came together as a result of that. And, you know, at first it was just, they were talking in secrecy amongst each other. Nobody wanted to come out and stand up against the, the Mexican mafia because they had a fierce reputation back in those days, them and the Aryan Brotherhood. So eventually, you know, these guys that banded together, they decided, you know what, enough's enough. The shoe war was the straw that broke the camel's back. That was like, you know what, fuck these dudes, man. Enough's enough. Let's just go ahead and, and that's when they took a stand against them. Well, right. I mean, that shoe war that started in 1965, they say is the longest running gang war in the state of California. Yeah. Because even to this day in 2023, it's still going. Right now, there's there's something that's going on. It's called the, the agreement to end hostilities. So they're not at war no more. The Norteños and the Sureños in, in all the prisons in California right now are, they're selling up together. They're walking the yard together. They're out there playing sports they're backing each other up against other groups out there when they get into a conflict i never thought i'd ever see the day that that would happen my in my era the war was on but they have a they have a peace treaty out there right now in the federal system though they're still at war and on the streets it really hasn't bled out to the streets the streets it's like they might say that Everybody's on that, you know, on that same page, but I wouldn't feel comfortable walking down uh, Whittier Boulevard with the red slingshot on. I'll tell you that right now.